Texas has banned all DEI offices in higher education, meaning that colleges now in the state have defunded things like the Asian, Black, and Latino graduation and welcoming events. Of course, this has people on the internet talking. Yeah, I'm glad that my taxpayer dollars are no longer funding division, exclusion, and indoctrination. Uh, we got to talk about it because, of course, this is going to spark a myriad of opinions. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. Real quick, what is got banned? Because okay. a lot of people are like, what? Uh, it, it got banned at a state level, right? There was Senate Bill 17, Greg Abbott, Republican uh -huh. governor. I don't think UT Austin wants to do yo, it. Yo, but but basically, they're losing the funding. Yeah, people are confused. I don't even have all the details. So I think a lot of people are jumping to conclusions and getting very emotional about this, saying like, it's segregation, screaming at segregation. We needed to cancel that. It's not segregation. But... I'm not going to say that every single event that was thrown was vital. Obviously, if this was a matter of cutting school funding, you do have to cut some of the fun stuff or the new programs. But but the point is that the Republicans were saying, Republicans that were voting against it were saying that the DEI stuff, the diversity uh, inclusion, uh, has not been working. And it, in fact, it drives more division. Now, I don't know if that's true. I don't have the stats on that. So I'm not going to support that. But I will say this, that definitely some of these events that they were having at UT Austin, such as graduation, uh, some of the either even uh, uh, some of the welcoming events for the Latino students and the black students, those are canceled. Uh, let me say this. They look fun, though. Yeah, they the look events fun. look fun, but, I mean, but these they're are not things vital that we to your like four-year experience because I do think that people have gotten away from the meaning of college. The meaning of college means that you're there to study, make professional connections, obviously grow intellectually, but it is not like the funnest four-year like party school, like social life. Everything's about frat sororities, ethnic frats and sororities. I do not think that that is the meaning of college. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that there were some events that were probably had funding of thousands of dollars that, for example, Cultivation, UT Austin, that was an event last year. And that I'm not saying that's something that we would have necessarily got invited to, but these are things that we've partaken in. We've partaken in cultural events. Now, I think cultural centers and cultural groups are still there and getting funding, I believe. I do not think they're getting touched. You're talking about like a Lunar New Year type situation? Yeah, like or a, a, like a Kwanzaa the, or... Yes, the Asian Student Union has a Lunar New Year event. I think that still has always existed and that is still there. So they're not canceling all cultural events, but because I think the funding was coming from the DEI office for some of these events. So it was like an extra cultural event center you know how there's well, it's cultural almost like if there was this cake of multiculturalism some of the toppings have had their funding cut yeah but so the, the cake is still there but some of the the most delicious morsel toppings have been deleted i don't know how it works because i haven't been to one of these offices but i'm assuming that there's the cultural center that is still there that we've i've been to 20 different colleges cultural centers in my life well, that's usually where we get sent. That's <laughs> where we start <laughs> off. We that's get, who we're brought that's out That's our by. green room. Shout out to everybody who's brought us out. So I've enjoyed my time there. But, and then I think DEI offices, correct me if I'm wrong, is a separate office that is maybe fairly new. I'm not sure. Well, you know, it's going away. Yeah. And I guess that that's what's causing the stir on the internet, okay, right? Because so some people think that it's going back in time. Other people are supporting it, saying trim the fat. Yeah. It, it got, it went too far, uh -huh. et cetera. There was a lot of really strong opinions across the internet. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know exactly what happened on the UT Austin campus if something controversial happened, if it started to become very discriminatory against, like, let's yeah. say white people, then that is wrong. It is true. All these cultural events, you cannot discriminate who goes. If it's an right. open event for students, it's all students. Um, I, I kind of feel bad for the black and Latino graduation getting cut because i know that I there's know not as to, many students there's not as many students and i know it means more because a lot of people are maybe the first person in their family yeah to go but yeah. that but it, here's what i was thinking i was thinking they could add more acknowledgement for that in the mainstream graduation yeah, i think that could make sense i i think that i think having one graduation for a college like a main one and then you also have your department graduation too let's be honest um i don't think it's wrong 
You know what I mean? Right. David, you remember for business school, the business school graduation was quite big. Right. I mean, I'll and tell you guys this. If you guys went to a four-year big school like we did, University of Washington, people generally care more about their department graduation because that's where all the individual awards were. In terms of just like getting your degree, you know how like when you're in the uh, the Husky Stadium and there's like 40,000 people, you don't really feel special. I don't even know one. if I went to mine. I don't even think I went to the main one. I went to the business school and that was the only one I Department ever graduation, right? Because yeah. that's who you're primarily spending your last couple years around is people in your uh, yeah. specific I major. I think... Two things, my point, and then we're going to get into the comment section. As long as the cultural centers still have funding and they're not cutting the funding to that, I still think the cultural centers are legit. You need you need students to feel empowered to have their own group so that they can throw events because they can't always be part of the mainstream system. We know what it is. They're still... Yeah, and I would imagine, especially in Texas, let's be honest, all the old systems of quote-unquote the open format Greek culture frats and sororities, they're probably like 95% exactly. white. Yeah. Even though they're not called white fraternities and sororities, everybody kind of knows. But I'll tell you this. I think any sort of racist or discriminatory acts and situations need to get handled super quick. Because that's a way to make people feel better about this is like, okay, you're cutting some of the DEI stuff. That means like the LGBT groups, they're, they're, the, one of their events is cut. And the Asians get one cut. Blacks, black people get not one cut. Not the graduation. No, or the a, Latinos get one cut. But I'm saying... As long as the authorities on the campus are handling any situation that pops up with swift, speedy action. Right. You're saying they can't cut DEI and then all of a sudden let people be racist. Yeah. So here's my thing. I think kids are less racist nowadays, which is better. I agree with that. I think so. Yeah. Dude, come on. You got to be. You, you. People are more racist than they used to be. Trust well, because I think they listen to more different types yeah. of music and they eat more different types of foods exactly. at a young age. Yeah. Exactly. And they know. So hopefully I'm assuming like... If anything pops up on campus that is discriminatory against any group, that I'm hoping it's like handled with the quickness. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, let's just get into the comments section. Somebody's saying, uh, because a lot of people on the right, especially in Texas, were accusing these events of being uh, segregationist, right? So this person said, these are not segregationist events. They're cultural celebrations. Anybody could attend. And other people are like, yeah, anybody could attend. But let's be honest, it was designed for a specific ethnic group and not other ethnic groups. So were the white people right in saying that it was segregation? Or was it just a cultural event that only appeals dude, to like a very hyper, dude, dude, more niche demographic? Dude, people got to use the word segregation correctly, man. You got to use it correctly just because it's a cultural celebration it's because it's a lunar new year party doesn't mean you can't buy a ticket you'll still have to buy a ticket because everybody buys a ticket but if you're white or you're black or whoever you want to go you can go to the asian student union event so you're saying i can go swag surf at the black graduation Yeah. listen the action or state of setting someone or something apart from others that's segregation you're not you're not not allowing other people. You're just celebrating and emphasizing. Right, right, right. I do think the people on the right are essentially, obviously, exaggerating too. Dude, exa it's not on. segregation, man. Um, but I can't say that in every single situation, maybe people have felt that it's discriminatory right. to them, but that's, but like, Legally, they didn't do it. All right, so we're going to get into the T of the comments section, Andrew. It seemed like Asians cared less because less Asians were going to the Asian graduation than... Like, for example, other groups. Like, because it is true at the University of Washington, we always had black and Latino graduation. I don't think we ever had an Asian graduation. Nah. I just Googled it to see because I was like, I would have known about that. We, I, don't we remember, didn't have I don't remember having an Asian graduation, but there was obviously a significant Asian student population. So Asians in a college sense, I feel like we're almost treated like we're just white. In, you know, in, a, in, a, in a, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that we're not treated that we're like white. we're in power, like we're white, but we're just not treated like a minority. Yeah, I think Asians in college, they don't, like, need that. They don't feel the need to have that separate graduation as much. You know what I mean? Like, right. And I like you said earlier, for, for real reasons, like, I think the black and Latino students, you could argue, do need it more. Or do deserve it more. Yeah, and honestly, they're, they're celebrations that I looked up look lit. Um, you know, basically, there was just so much arguing back and forth. Someone said, good, inclusion means everybody. How can the I in inclusion, I, we're taxpayer dollars, and I'm looking at a photo of the graduation, and it's only one race. Can we just point to some stories, or can we talk to some white kids who felt discriminated at these events? 
I'm just saying. Right. We need to have some evidence. So can we talk to some white kids, guys or girls, that felt like, yeah, you know, I tried to walk in on that um, gravid Asian, and, and they just looked at me so funny, and they told me, no. They, they kept saying, no, Byron, no, Byron. I didn't know what it meant. I will say this. I do not think it's fully healthy for it to always feel like the minorities are so unbelievably different from the white people on campus. I I, I do think that there could yeah, be more celebration okay. of the black and Latino students and the Asian students or whatever at the mainstream graduation or nearing the end of the semester. Why not in the, um, you know, the open student, you know, there, there's always like a main student center area. Why can't there be a mini version where everybody's exposed to it? So it's almost like instead of an exclusive event, you're having your event put on a pedestal, but amongst everybody else. And I think that that could be a cool way where it's almost like people still feel appreciated for their, uh, within their own group, but it almost like pushes the culture more out to everybody else. Right. Well, how about this? Why don't colleges, if you're going to cancel the DEI stuff, you got to include these cultural groups more into the mainstream thing. So they, you got to be able to give them, you come to them. No, here's, for example, UT Austin, football, basketball, huge, right? Sport, huge sports school. So white kids cheering on black yeah, athletes, that's, which is that's, cool, that's, which that's, is fine. But I'm saying if the Asian student union requests that they need like 15 tickets for their group, that you include them. Like, just do things like that. Right, right, right. So they don't feel like they've been left out of the mainstream In, and then therefore need we, the We all understand. Graduation. If you've ever been on a college campus, bro, that's big enough. We get it. That there's a cultural center and a lot of the minority kids kind of hang out there. And that's not all the kids, but then there's kids that go in between. I was kind of And then between. there's a the few minority kids that like go more go with the Greek row. Or yeah, the yeah, white yeah, but I'm saying like you, there has to be acknowledgement that these groups exist on campus and they have to be taken care of. But- yeah, if there is like, if you have to cut funding somewhere, I, you know, there's some stuff that can get cut. You know, you know? what this reminds me of, Andrew? Uh, my junior year in high school, I had to write a 30 page thesis essay on some topic. And you know what I wrote it on? I wrote it, I wrote it on affirmative action reform. Mm. And basically, my whole premise was that you needed it, but the current iteration was making everybody mad and probably not getting it mm. done. So here were the reforms necessary to it. So it's like, it gets the job done. It helps out the groups that it needs to help. And then the other groups is not all mad. Like, I hate it because blah, blah, because the implementation or maybe, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, it's the marketing and the packaging of the implementation as well. Because I think that they do need to have diversity, equity, and inclusion. But probably the way they've been going about it for maybe whatever X amount of years needed an, a firmware update. Mm. And because, you know, when it doesn't get the firmware update, people get mad, they start pouring out the flaws because there is legitimately flaws and then they strike it all down. But it's not like the people who are going to strike it down are going to issue like an upgrade or a reform. They just want to cut it all. Right, right. So, so, so I, I don't think that uh, banning it was necessary, but I do think that if you are going to cut funding on these things, then you got to do something else to include everybody into the large. Because you can't just sit there and scream, oh, well, these groups have their own little thing going on, but we're not really going to help them integrate right. into the mainstream anyways. Like, you have to, there has to be some. Are you proposing a deal? Like a trade? Yeah, bro. All right, take away the DEI offices. But what else are you going to offer? Greg Abbott should say that. Yeah. The, the Texas governor should say that instead of just being like, we're going to strike it down. Be like, okay, we're going to take it, but here, here's what we're going to do. Like, maybe you just want to shout out to the Asian Student Union sometimes. I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Again, listen, it's not really clear what the bill says and what exactly is getting uh, uh, deleted. And, and not, I heard but some of the, 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 the colleges internally, they may like redirect funds to get, you know, yeah, what I mean, to figure. like go around the legality. So it doesn't mean that there's no more cultural events, but also, yeah, I don't know if they needed to do that either. So anyways, you guys let me know in the comments down below, please give us your thoughts again. Uh, you know, these are thing cultural events were things that I was a part of, but yeah, maybe, maybe you don't, yeah, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if you need all of them, but you need some. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.